Big Don's Kitchen. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. Um, we're in the kitchen this afternoon. It is um, 2.30, 2.35 to be, um, to be correct. And uh, we're about to cook some dinner, right? It's dinner time. And uh, we're going to have on a menu today. We're going to have my childhood favorite, right? What I got my birthmark on my stomach. My mom, you know, uh, was uh, craving uh, before I was born. You know, for some stew peas on rice, all right, and that's um, you know, I got a red mark on my tummy right here. I think right by right there, right. It's a red mark, and it's my mom told me she was craving some stew peas, and uh, she scratched her belly. You know how that goes, people. Yeah, you know, she scratched her belly, and um, I came out with a red mark on my stomach, all right. So I I grew up, you know, loving stew peas, and that's my uh, favorite, uh, one of my favorite Jamaican dinner, all right. However, my stew peas is not a traditional um, Jamaican stew peas. It's not done the way the, um, Jamaicans usually do it, right? As far as meat um, kind is concerned, all right? Traditionally, you use um, pig's tail or, um, or salt beef in, um, in your, your, your traditional stew peas and rice. Uh, me, I don't eat pork, right? And I don't really mess around with beef. Right, so what I use is, here we go, some smoked turkey neck. See that? I'm gonna use some smoked turkey neck in there. The smoked turkey neck gives the, uh, the, and I've done quite a few times already, gives a very good flavor. Give that smoky flavor. Um, give that a nice, um, you know, you, you, don't, you don't need a lot of seasoning, you know, when you do your smoked turkey neck because you got all that stuff and it's already cured, you got the salt and all that stuff on there. So it gives the soup is good flavoring, right? Um, and what else? I'm going to want to add some chicken neck to that also. So it's going to be all neck today, right? So smoked turkey neck with regular chicken neck and my stew peas, the white rice. Um, and that's going to be for dinner today, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the, on the video on the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll show you boys some support. All right. Oh, by the way, I got my um my peas, my red peas is on the stove right now. Um, is getting this first um just put it on there for about see, ten minutes ago. So the red peas is in the process of cooking right now. All right. So let me open the pot and show you what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to see the steam coming out of that pot. See right there. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a close up in um in about two minutes. All right, but I got the peas going. That shouldn't take too much longer to cook, uh, because I, I um, I'm also gonna add the uh, the smoked turkey because smoked turkey that takes a long time for it to cook. So I'm gonna add that to the um to the peace box in a few minutes and get those two cooking. All right, so let's get this rolling. Down a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do next? I'm gonna wash off my smoked turkey neck. All right, and get it ready to go in the pot with the red peas. Which uh, I'm gonna show you guys in about two minutes. So here we go. Our smoked turkey neck. I'm not gonna chop it up. It's already good. You know, um, no more process needing. So let's give this a quick wash off. You need just uh, keep me washed off one time, and uh, we're gonna add this to the pot. All right, so here goes, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the peas. Peas gonna cook right now. All right, so we're gonna add that smoked turkey neck to that, so that I can cook. Oh, okay, like I said that takes forever. It'll cook so here we go. Let that go right on in there.
yeah so the plan the deal is with the with the red peas right you know keep it in pot with a smoked turkey neck and um you know once the water dissipates a little bit just add more water to it right until the peas get soft enough so it can start a process of putting your seasoning in putting your um you know your spinners and um and and let it cook down all right so that's what's going to happen right now so we're going to let it sit there and um and cook until everything gets you know tender enough so we can start a process all right folks so the next thing we're going to do we're going to clean up these um chicken necks all right get them washed get some vinegar on them get them washed we can, uh, there, just repeat myself. We're gonna put some vinegar on them, get them washed, and clean up. This thing we're gonna split them in two. A little bit of vinegar. All right, so let me put this away, put away my vinegar. And get my meat cleaver. Let's see which one I'm going to use today. Hmm. Let's see. These are all new. I got this one right here. This one right here, right here, looks very barbaric. So. I'm gonna try this one. I haven't used this one before, so I'm use my meat cleaver here today. Chop up this chicken neck. This one right here got some nice weight to it. Yeah, so it's very, very easy. Chop this chicken. Ain't gotta put the, don't have to put too much pressure. Just chops away. Folks, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut up some natural seasoning. So I have some peppers, some green ones, red ones, and red onions, and scallion. I'm going to chop those up and get it ready for the pot. All right. So, give me a bowl. Give me 
your bowl out of there. And let's get the carton. You know what? Let's switch knives. Yeah. I'll use that one. Here we go. A lot more sharper. A lot lighter to handle. As bone is supposed to turn meat cleaver. And uh, what I do, ladies and gentlemen, I cut up all these uh, natural seasoning. I use a portion of it, and whatever I don't use, I freeze them. Yep. Freeze them, and um, use them. You know, make sure I have them for another day, and it actually lasts longer. I don't have to go to the store all the time uh, and buy um, natural um, this natural seasoning. Oh, um, the only thing I really go to the store and buy, and that was one thing you can't really freeze, is on um, time. You know, time you can't really freeze. You have to buy that, use it, or you know, put it in the fridge. It dries up, but it's still good. You probably um, actually sit in the fridge for at least about two weeks. Yeah, you know, and to use, but I like using them. I rather use a fresh time better it has more flavor Uh, well, the peas, they're halfway done, folks. They're halfway done. They're not as soft as I want them to, but um, they're getting there. Hold that back up and let it sit and do what it got to do.
All right, folks, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get this rice pot seasoned. So I'm going to put some natural seasoning in the rice pot. There we go. The water's boiling. Just where it go. So there we go. And about a cup and a half of that seasoning in there. Next, I'm going to put it in there. It's a little bit of cock soup mix or chicken soup mix. I love putting that through the uh, adding that to my rice, it gives some good flavor with a little bit of noodle on there. So, about two spoons are good. All right, folks, so it's time to add some spices. I just put my natural seasoning in the rice pot. It's time to add a little bit of spice in there, some spices. So I got some black pepper. Add that in there. Some uh, Goya um, low salt seasoning, called the perfect seasoning. It's a mixture of a lot of seasoning. I'm not exactly sure it's in there, but I know. <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I get right on my nostrils. All right, so add some of that in there. And the natural seasoning. I, I guess that's a dry rub. And um, half a teaspoon of salt. Let's give that a quick stir. Put the cover back on and get it ready for the rice. Yep, that's smelling good right now, folks. That's smelling real good. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. All right, allow those natural spices, you know, to um to cook and um. I'm gonna get about, yeah, give it a few minutes, let the natural spice cook, and then I add the rice. All right, folks, time to put the rice in a pot. Let's get this rice washed. So I need one. Two. Three. And four cups of rice. I keep my rice in a Ziploc bag, keep it nice and fresh. Uh, let's get this bad boy washed, some cold water, and get her in the pot. They say you're supposed to wash the rice until all the white film turns clear so I usually just wash about four or five times you know until it's nice and clear the water is nice and clear and then you can add it to the pot that's when you wash off all the starch of the rice All right, this is fourth time. It's getting clearer and clearer. One more time, we're good to go. And we're gonna add it to the pot. 
do a quick stir and cover it over and let it sit there turn the heat down let it sit there and cook all right so here's the ladies and gentlemen the rice is all flakes are washed all right let's get in the pot all right here we go ladies and gentlemen the rice is about to go in the pot about to boil here we go Quick star. We got seasoned rice. Right, so there you have it folks um so now um if you're a good person if, if you're a good rice cooker or, or, no i shouldn't say that if you know how to cook rice properly right the traditional way the way i was taught how to make sure you, you have the right amount of rice to the water consistency or a proportion or or ratio i'm sorry yeah rice to water ratio in the pot is doing a finger test all right i'm going to show you how that how that's done uh, wash my hands. Got my hands nice and clean. Right. My granny and my mama told me the way you want to test to make sure your rice to water ratio is perfect is the uh, the rice, the water, right, should be at the uh, first ring of your finger while the tip is touching the rice in the pot. It's a little hot, but I'm going to do the test anyway. I'm doing my left finger, see how slow it's going on. So. It's actually right there, you know, so it might, you know, actually that's good because it's right below the, uh, the ring on my finger, right? So that's actually perfect. So I'm not going to add no water to it and just going to leave it, turn it down and let it sit there and cook. All right, so I'm going to cover it with my silicone cover, all right? And put my pot cover on top of that and turn that bad boy down and let it cook in its own juices and steam all right folks so <clears throat> You gotta get these spinners made and put in a pot. You know, time I go. So spinners is traditionally known to go in your stoopies pot. All right, so one, two, so two and a half. Two and a half cups of flour. One tablespoon of salt. it around let's get some water in there and get our spinners rolling
All right, here we have it, folks. Don't need a dumpling. I'm about to make some spinners and put in this pot. And I'm also going to add my coconut milk, my seasoning. Yep, smelling good. Spinners. I'm going to make them too big. Okay, about this size. Have them size spinners. Or tiny spinners. Yeah, and this is the way it's traditionally done. The folks who has never done two pieces of rice before. Here are the spinners, the meat, uh, the sort of meat that, you know, traditionally known to go in stew peas is pig's tail or salt beef. That's the traditional way of, um, the traditional kind of meat that goes in, um, in stew peas, right? Red peas, red kidney beans, your pig's tail, and your salt beef. Due to the fact that I don't eat pork, I use smoked turkey neck. Or you can use smoked turkey neck and chicken feet. I'm using smoked turkey neck and chicken neck. Or, or smoked turkey neck and chicken buck. Or just smoked turkey neck by itself. But the, uh, the smoked turkey neck gives it a different kind of flavor. As opposed to the um, pig tail and the salt beef. You know, the, the smoked turkey neck gives it actually, you know, a smoky taste, a smoky, um, yeah, smoky taste to it. Because that's how they cure it. They smoke it. Just like back in the day when, you know, older folks, my grandpa, grandma didn't have any fridge, they had a smokehouse, and that's what he did. They smoke all their meats and cure it. They had no freezer. All right, more pieces left. Let's give it a quick stir. We have a folk got my spinners in there. About to cook my coconut milk. about half a can of coconut milk because I had some frozen milk, some frozen coconut milk that I added to it earlier. So I'm just going to add, add a can of that to it. All right, let it sit and simmer for a few. And then I add the spices, um, the natural seasoning and the spices in there. And it uh, should be ready. Yeah, it's coming along, folks. It's coming along. All right, folks, <clears throat> here we go. Coming down to the last stretch. I'm just seeing the pot here, the stew peas pot. All right, first I'm gonna do put my natural seasoning, my onions, my peppers, my scallion, my garlic, and some uh, some ginger. Get that in there. One pack of Sasson. Get that in there. I love to use my chicken bouillon. It gives it good flavoring also. Let me break that up. 
All right. Some crushed red peppers. Got an Italian set, red peppers. That's gonna be one, what's gonna go? One teaspoon. One teaspoon of that in there. Some black pepper. One teaspoon also. And then my all natural spices. Uh, you know what? Gonna take the top off. I'm just gonna dab it in there. Dab it about one tablespoon. Dab around in there. That pot. There we go. What else am I missing? I think that's it. I think that's all the spices I'm supposed to go in there. Let me get my spoon. Give it a quick stir. It takes make sure the spices. Oh yeah, Woo. that's ready. Actually, you need some more. Um, some more. It actually needs some hot sauce in there. So I'm gonna put some turmeric. Not not turmeric. I'm sorry, cayenne pepper. I want to give it that kick. That cayenne pepper. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna give that nice kick. Gonna taste it right in the back of your throat. Let's cover that. Let it sit there and simmer until it's ready. All right, folks, so we're almost there. The next thing I'm gonna do, actually the last thing I'm gonna do is um, gotta get that liquid thickened up. What I'm gonna do is add some, um, some flour. Add some flour and water. Um, corn, is it cornstarch? Yeah, a lot of people use cornstarch as a thickened agency, um, I use flour as my thickened thicket agency, a thickened agency. So I'm gonna add some of that in there. Get that bad boy thickened up. Just a bit more and let it sit there for a few minutes. Let it simmer. See, see how much it's taking up. That's what you need. And just a little bit of flour and water. Get that bad boy thickened up, and we're good to go. <coughs> hey, excuse me. All right, folks, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to check on our rice. It's been on the stove on low heat for a while. It should be nice and ready. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I think that bad boy's ready. Oh, yeah. Really nice stir. You got a lot of seasoning and stuff like that mixed up in there. Smelling good. I know it's going to taste good. Yeah, perfect rice. There we go.
Yep, so that's my seasoned rice. Turn that stove off and let it sit there. Relax until the uh, stew piece is done. Oh, and I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I, I need to correct myself because during the time I was pouring in the, uh, the flour with the water um, to thicken my uh, stew piece, right? I kept on referring to it as thickening agent C. There's not a thickened agent C, there's a thickened agent. Thickening agent, not agency, it's a thickening agent, right? And like I said, a lot of people use cornstarch with water, you know, to thicken up the gravy, right? I use flour as a thickening agent to thicken my gravy. And that's why I use in my stew peas. All right. So correcting myself, a thickening agent, not agency. All right. Thank you. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're just about done with the stew peas. Got them thick bubbles coming up on there. Yeah, it's ready. Everything's starting to stick down the bottom. Yeah, look how thick that is. Look how thick that is. The meat is falling off the bone. Got a turkey neck. There was a chicken neck. Everything is ready. Everything is done. Boy, lun. Food ready. Look all on peas. Yes. See all the peas in there? Yeah, man. <laughs> all ready, folks. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. A nice pot of stew beef. I'm sorry, stew peas with spinners in there. Smoked turkey neck, chicken neck, coconut milk, natural seasoning, spices. Whew. Can't wait to chow down on this, baby. I wish I could smell this and taste it right now. Yeah, so. We're going to turn that pot of stuff off. Cover it up a little bit. Let it cool down. Well, hello, folks. I am back. This is a Big Don from Big Don's Kitchen. The food done. The boy Lun. They were shutting up shiny like crazy. Shutting up in the kitchen. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for uh, be, pay, being patient with me. Thanks for hanging out with me for the duration of this uh, meal preparation and cooking and running bought and whatever the heck you call it, right? What was on the menu today? Um, stew peas with white rice or stew peas with seasoned rice, right? And my stew peas, right, it consists of smoked turkey neck, chicken wing. I'm sorry, smoked turkey neck, chicken neck, uh, red peas, uh, coconut milk. And all the fixings in there. You know, I didn't do my stupid traditional way with uh, pig steel or uh, or with salt beef, right? I don't eat pork. I think that's the third time I uh, I said that throughout the whole video. I don't eat pork, so you know the smoked turkey neck is the alternative, and um and that's what I use, right? And the smoked turkey neck, I think it gives good flavor. It gives that smokiness, right? So anyway, here's my plate. See everything look all right so my rice with the peas and everything upon there i tried to do a good presentation you know but the dagger rice is falling off then the meat right smoked turkey neck chicken wing i'm sorry chicken wing chicken neck and my spinners on there right and the gravy you said the sauce on there yeah rich all right so i'm going to give that a little taste and see what it's going on with it's hot Mm. Ooh. Mm. Just no spice in there. I hit you in the back of the throat. Oh yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Some sauce on there. Mm-hmm. Make you want to dance, baby. <laughs> Make you want to dance. <laughs> yeah. So that's it right there. Stew peas and rice, smoked turkey neck, chicken neck, spinners, and all the good stuff in there. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a wrap. About to enjoy, sit down, eat my, you know, my boo over there, my wife, and all that stuff. We're going to eat, 
get some wine going with my wine glasses, but it's around here somewhere. But it's the Big Don from the Big Don's Kitchen. Make sure y'all tune into the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Hit that notification bell. Show your boy some support. Until the next video, stay well, stay blessed.